Hey y'all, welcome to Survival on the Skinny. Um, I want to show you today how to, thing I want to show you is a, it's called an X notch, there's other names for it, a hanging knot, you know, there's, there's a lot of names for it. But essentially what you're going to do, you're going to take your knife and you are going to baton an X. Okay, baton here, then baton here. And then you will carve out on the inside, you'll carve out, and what you'll be left with is a little point. So I'm gonna baton it, and then we'll just move on from there, okay? Again, you're just doing an X. You wanna come about half a finger length, inch and a half or so up. Okay, you're gonna go down, this is green wood. Uh, you're gonna go down about to the heartwood. And you're going to do it again on this one. See the X? Now what you're going to do is you're going to carve down to that one point. Because what it's doing is all the little shavings where you batoned it, all these shavings are going to come out. And I'm gonna show two, well, maybe three different ways to actually use this over a campfire. Once you get the bulk of the meat out of there, now you see how that's, see how that's shaping up? Okay. Right here, you wanna take this and carve it in just a little bit. Ain't gotta be a whole lot. Don't take much, especially with green wood. You're making a hook, okay? That's another thing I've heard this call is a hook notch. You see how that, how the X and how that little notch is going up, okay? Now, this side's done. This is good, that's happy. Uh, it's gonna receive in. You're gonna do this again. Now this time you're gonna do it on the opposite side. So essentially this is gonna be hanging. If you put another one here, to me it just feels unstable. So I'll put one on this side and then let's put another one on this side. Same thing, you're doing the same thing all over again. Coming up a little piece. This ain't, it ain't rocket surgery, but this is skill sets that are necessary boiling water in a pot container uh, this is by far one of the easiest ways and there we go party it out so you can see what got going on here but on down just a little bit too far on this side, but again, it's okay. Now I've got a hook on both ends. You see that? Hook there, hook there. You'll have your cordage going up from one end, hanging your pot on the other end, and there you go. You got a pot hanger. Um, doesn't take very long, not much effort. I'll show you another version of this. It's going to be about this long. Okay. By the way, the length of this, folks, I don't know if you can get a, get a hand on it and you're not obstructing the pot or the, or the string, okay? So, armpit to wrist, or I mean elbow to wrist, elbow to wrist. This one I'll go armpit all the way out to fingertip. We're going to do the same with this one. We're going to put about four of them on here. And this is going to be adjustable. And I'll show you why, okay? Stay tuned. Um, this is the first one that we made, okay? Small pot hanger, so it's gonna hang. This is the larger one I was telling you about. See, so you got one notch on this side and three notches on this side. The reason being is because your pot sits here. I hadn't cut this piece yet, but I'll show you how. 
this will sit in here and that's the furthest away from the heat. You want to bring it down, you can adjust a little closer to the heat. This pole is actually too long, but then if you want to get right down the coals. So if you're boiling some water, you're going to want it there. Okay. The nice thing about this, if you notice, this is two Y sticks that has a just a, a green sapling pinched in. Now I cut this at an angle. Okay. So we'll take this, kind of see where it's landing. It looks like a little piece of bark there. We'll get rid of that. Looks like it's landing just to the outside of the heart. That one the same place, and this one's too short, but same place. So you take your knife, it was landing just outside the heart, so about right here. You just take your knife and just drill a divot. Being mindful and being careful not to just shove it through and split the wood. Uh, that's why I'm taking my time with it. I'm using my big old, big old becker, so of course it's going. It wants to cut all the way through. It don't want to be nice and play pretty. So that looks pretty good right there. All you're doing is you're making a divot so that you're gonna hang your pot here so that this will receive in that little divot pot hanging on it and there it is okay okay just showing you how this works the fire's here here's your pot you're just keeping it warm at this point okay you want to get this thing hot you move it down hang it right there now you're right up against the fire so you can boil it quick once you get it boiling you can adjust it move it back up set it in place and there you have it. It'll hang there and keep warm. Now again, this is done without, with no cordage whatsoever. So you find yourself and all you got is a pot, hanging pot, or even just a metal cup. Uh, you can actually build one of these, just a knife, two Y sticks. This is your anchor stick, your hanging stick, whatever you want to call it, and then your hanger. Now the reason multiple notches is it's adjustable. Now you can use Remember the little guy we made? Okay. You can hook him and he hooks on. You can do that too. I'll show you two more ways to set this up, okay? Okay. This is a heat reflecting wall, okay? You use these, build your fire here. What this does is reflect the heat from the campfire in this direction. So your shelter is here about step away whenever you build a fire the heat will go in all directions okay it goes in 360 degrees if you build one of these reflecting walls what it does is just keeps you warmer okay you can build a smaller fire and stay warmer um same way using that same stick we used with the y or the uh, y sticks uh, again this is no cordage okay just lay it on top of your wall i'm just going to use the little guy this time but you just hook your hook your pot, hang it on that little guy, and there you are. You can adjust this in and out. You can bring it up, you know, bring it wherever you want it to be. Uh, if you're coming up further up the hill, say your fire is a little further away, then you will need to use this guy. Okay? Use this guy, and he'll hold it. You need to bring it close to the coals, adjust it down. And then you're right there on in the coals, okay? I'm gonna show you one more way, and that'll be it for today, so stay tuned. Hey y'all, back. This is the last way I'm gonna show you that you're able to use this. Uh, use it with a tripod setup and some cordage. Um, you see here the hanger is just, just holding the pot. Uh, lash your tripod together. Uh, lash it together, any extra cordage you may have left over, just wrap around the top, okay? Don't hurt nothing. Um, this here, your bowling, tie a taut line, hitch right here. And the reason for that is, take this off, if you want to bring it closer to the fire, you can adjust it down, where now you're right up against the coals, okay? Uh, you can get it all the way down, 
to where you're sitting literally on the coals with the pot. Once you get done, or it's, it's cooked and you just want to keep it warm, bring your clay up top. Again, using a pot hanger. And now you're just keeping it warm. Okay? Uh, very simple. This is the only one that requires cordage. All the rest, none of those required cordage. This one does. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, comments, more than welcome. Questions, even better. Okay? Y'all have a great day, and until next time.